All right, guys, we're back out, but uh, we got the sniper coil this time because we got those tight areas of trash. I want to try, and we're getting stuff out. Had a modern penny before, but now we got a wheat, and it looks like we got 1920s, uh, 24. I can't quite see the exact date, but uh, I think it's a 20 something or maybe 30s. Anyway, looks pretty good. We'll keep on going. All right, guys, we finally got our first silver. It's not an old one. It's a young Lizzie, but I'll take that. And uh, got ourselves. Looks like a 1963. Very sweet. All right, let's see if we can pull out some wreathes. All right, guys, I think we got another silver. I think she's a young, oh no, she's a George in sixth. Oh, that's sweet. This thing was faint, faint. Even with the six inch coil, it was super squeaky, super iffy. So it just shows how crazy this uh, spot is for trash. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And we got ourselves a 19, I don't know, 19. 46 or 1940 oh whatever it is she's a Georgia 6 and she's awesome second silver of the night all right guys we had a barely a hint of a mid 20s in here and it was deeper down it's really really crusty but I can make out a kg5 small scent and we got 1920 I brushed, dry brushed it quite a bit. Uh, maybe it just needs some wet, wet brushing. Because that other KG5 the other night actually cleaned up pretty nice after uh, wet brushing it. All right, hopefully. Well, also in the hole, we got a KG6. 1941. Well, maybe there's more. I don't know, I think there's a lot of stuff buried underneath all these pull tabs and stuff. They didn't scrape enough. They didn't scrape it down far enough in this area. Uh, but uh, they think they did enough that we could get uh, a hint of what's down there. Well, I've got to dig everything that has a good repeating signal. And uh, this was interesting. It was only like a 9, 10, but it was all over the place. And uh, I think we got ourselves a foreign coin, probably French. Not sure how old it is, but uh, it's pretty cool. It says half a franc. Well, it's not too, too old. It's like 1965. Yeah, very cool. Awesome stuff. Yeah, I found a couple French coins before. Uh, one was a honker, 10 franc coin, so that's very cool. All right guys, we're back out to the old dug up ball field and uh, unfortunately my pinpointer died when I even started. Uh, batteries run out and I don't have a spare so we're just going to have to go with it. And we're working in loose, moved around soil so it's not as bad. Uh, and we got, uh, we just thought we'd try swinging in 4 kilohertz for a bit and we actually hit something. Um, got ourselves fishy. Here we got an eddy right off the bat. Well, actually we've been here for a while. We went back to the car to check to see if we had a spare, but we didn't, so I thought, well, I'm here, so I might as well just keep on going. And we got ourselves a 1902. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, yeah, they've uh, spread out more of the uh, pile that they scraped up, so uh, there's always, seems to be every day they, they keep spreading it out, so there's new, new stuff to uh, to explore. Well, right beside the fishy and pretty much on the right sitting on the surface, we had a 19, 18, 19 signal and uh, she's a bit crusty, but I think we got ourselves an Indian head. You can kind of see the letters. Liberty maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's that's an Indian head. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, this has got thick crust, so 
at home we're just gonna whack it against the concrete floor and maybe break off some of that crust and we'll get a year hopefully all right guys we're back out at the dug up ball field looks so much different in the light and we got a crew with us today got a few fellas out and we just got ourselves the first uh, interesting find I don't know what it is I think it's a button of some sort but uh, that's pretty old I think I had a steel back that's kind of rusty but uh, kind of a neat piece oh very cool not sure how old probably early 1900s though all right let's see if we can get out some coins well we're working in four kilohertz and we're uh, disking out all the iron and so we're getting not much sound except for good ones and uh, we had something here I kept digging at it and just couldn't find it but I had to go deeper and deeper and deeper we're kind of in an area where a lot of the soil has been moved around and uh, finally finally after quite a few hunts I got my first largey here it's been eluding me so far a dozen silvers but uh, the largies have not come out until now, 1918. Still crusty on that side, but uh, doesn't look too bad on, on the opposite. Awesome stuff. I have a solid 16 down here, but uh, aw nuts. Yeah, that's a big one. Well, they moved around the pile quite a bit today and uh, going around down here and working in four kilohertz we got a hint of something actually rung up 27 sounded pretty good I had to dig down at the base there and we got ourselves a Georgia 6 looks like a 1940 uh, 43 I'm thinking pretty cool get lean for signals but uh, all is worth it all right guys we're up on this dirt pile I think this is the first no actually we got that kg6 over there but uh, we just had a low 20 signal down here and I pulled out a piece of iron wire at first so that was probably scrambling things up a bit but uh, we got ourselves a largey 1909 we got an eddy oh that's sweet I think it's an eddy uh, yep. yep she's an eddy she's a bit crushed uh, some of that might come off a lot of it's already come off. She was pretty green on that side, so uh, yeah, that's awesome stuff. Hey guys, daylight's winding down, and uh, we had this area. They just scraped up into this pile, so it's worth looking through. The other fellas have gone through it already, but uh, right over there, I had a, a nice signal in the four kilohertz coming up, and. Uh, Got ourselves a fishy, got an eddy, and that's another 1902, like the other night. Oh, that's cool. There's still stuff around here, even though it's getting very lean. All right. Well, I think uh, I think kicking the uh, kicking the peaks of these piles over is uh, going to be a good tactic. Uh, we just did that here, and uh, got ourselves a largey. That's our third tonight, 1912. Oh my goodness. Well, we're making up for all the all the lack of ones on the other hunts. So, all right, let's. We're just going to stick around long enough to see what's under the under the pile peaks, and uh, we'll head off. Well, we had another one, decent signal down here ringing up. I'm not sure exactly what this is, but uh, I don't know. If the, is that a bullet? Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's like a finial of some sort. It looks like it's got steel on the inside of maybe brass. It's been, I don't know. Very strange though. It almost looks like a bullet, but I don't think it is. 